Hi! Fractal Architect 4 is finally out and I'm very glad to be able to start a new tutorial series here. Uh, this first one is a brief overview of some of the new features and improvements. Uh, let's start with the big one, the multi-track animation sequencer. To open up the animation sequencer I open up a fractal here that I have been working on, an animation. And in the preview window, I have this icon that's open up the animation sequencer. And first, I get this window where I have a list of the animations done with the keyframes that are contained in this fractal. I will open up Morph 2 here now. And this is the animation sequencer. In the track area, you have the segments with the keyframes at the top. Uh, on every segment here, contains keyframes, a starting keyframe and an ending keyframe. Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, under the keyframe uh, track I have uh, created two more tracks that are animation tracks. And these segments contain animations that alter the keyframe animation. Uh, you can set up the beats per minute of the audio track. Here's the audio track. You can set them up here. And uh, if you know the tempo, or if you don't know the tempo, you can use the very handy tap tempo function here. And let's, that lets you create a beat here that's uh, aligned to the audio track, a pulse that drives the animation. Um, there's a video preview window. If I look at this animation here, I can see what ha what's happening if I show thumbnails and video there. And uh, I get now a hundred little thumbnails rendered and when they are rendered I get a video preview window that lets me see what I'm doing. It's uh, rather fast. And I can see the effect of the animation of that segment. I usually have to make test animations of several segments to get a really good picture, but if you want to check one segment, this is a very handy function. If I double click a segment, it opens up in the animation configurator. Here I can reach and animate every parameter of the fractal. All the parameters that make up the fractal are able to be uh, animated. And you have a preview video here too that lets you see the effect of the chosen parameters. So you can see if you are reaching the effect that you are after. Like that. And you can set the video frame count here too. That's a very brief overview of the animation sequence and there is much more to be said about this but I will come back to that in a later tutorial. Uh, the next big feature has to do with the new architecture for the uh, transforms. Let's make a new fractal from scratch here. Um, we get rid of the linear and bring in a Julian. like that and we can du duplicate that and we show the grid here and we move that transform around a bit to get that Julian pattern. Now before in the earlier versions of Fractal Architect and in most other uh, Fractal Flames apps uh, 
you had everything in one group and uh, if you want to use pre and post variations you had to use special pre and post variation types not anymore in fractal architect 4 I can now make pre groups and post groups and in these groups I can put any variation I want let's see what we should put in there let's put in a modulus see what happens there it's a modulus and I have a pre modulus um, uh, and um, another big advantage with this is uh, that um, I can have several instances of the same variation in the same group in this group where I had a Julian I can put in another Julian like that and you can see here that I have Julian number one and Julian number two this is a very easy system to use and it's very fun to play around with and it's powerful way to shape the fractal it almost has as big effect as final x form and speaking of final x form if I bring in a final x form here uh, lazy Susan for instance let's see what that does like that not so big though bring it down a bit these uh, final X forms can have their pre and post groups too and that's a very powerful way to shape the fractal and it brings new power I think to the final X forms like that uh, so that's the news in the transform architecture Another new feature in this uh, Fractal Architect 4 has to do with the crossbreeder. As before, you can pull this slider and you can crossbreed between these two fractals. And the change, the first one changes into the other one. That's nothing new. But the new here is that you now have crossbreed shuffle patterns. You can see here now that you have one two three four transforms and uh, according to the old system uh, the first fr transform of this one changes to the first transform of that one and the second one changes to the second one of that one but now you can drag these around and uh, if you look at it now the third the first one of these changes into the third of that one and the fourth second one of these changes changes into the fourth of that one and that gives you a lot of possible crossbreed combinations you see you get quite another result here and you have a randomized shuffle button so you can see the effect this is from one place in the crossfade and you get all these different types of fractals here with four transforms like you have in this fractal you get 24 different possible crossbreeder combinations if you have nine transforms that will give you 362,880 possible crossfade uh, crossbreed uh, combinations and that's from just two fractals so this is a powerful feature and if you find something that you like you click the add as new keyframe and you have it there and it's a way to set up good animations and uh, if you do in stills it's a wonderful way to save everything that is interesting in the same file as you can see you have a new button here that says scripted random if you click that uh, the Lua scripts open us up you have several uh, Lua scripts that are comes with app here. Some are from JWildfire, some are from or from Apophysis, and my favorites 
Simil 3 and Simil 4 from the old Fractal app uh, oxidizer. Let's make some Simil 3 fractals here. And these fractals are calculated uh, uh, from these uh, scripts here. And you have optional scripts, tweak scripts here, that will make you do something different. Let's say I want only grayscale colors. Well, I actually get grayscale and an additional color there. Uh, that's why I have, have made my own script. But of course, you can do that. You can make your own scripts. This is pure grayscale. Or I can choose to put in a pre Julian in every transform. Like that. And I get a different result. These scripts are editable and uh, you can copy them here and you can bring up the built-in Lua script editor where you can write your own scripts or change the ones that are already in the app. It's very easy, fairly easy to do and you have a check syntax button here to see if you have done anything wrong. Same with these ones. You can write your own scripts with the built-in editor. Uh, these tweak scripts are also in the variation editor. If I take that one and go to the variation editor and they are in the new random fractal settings too. Let's take that one and I will bring in a, a C power pre. And I can further shape this fractal like that with the tweak scripts. From the vari variation uh, uh, editor or from the random generation settings. Here I have the tweak scripts too. Another news is that I now can make my own custom variations. I have the library here with all the built-in variation types and I can copy them and put them in my library where I can change them. This is one that I called Celestial Rugby that I have changed just by taking a Julia and changing the numbers. I don't know one bit of code from another but I can still make something that is interesting and usable by changing the numbers. It takes a, a few tries but I can get something that really works and if I know my code and I know how to write uh, variations I can make fantastic uh, new variation types and uh, try them out very easy. So this is a playground for all the code oriented people out there. There are new camera modes in uh, Fractal Archistic 2. If I, if I make a set of fractals here, I can take that one and in the preview window I open up the toolbox and have 3D camera here and I can move this around. like that. And I can click the camera button and I can reach all the parameters for the camera. Uh, that's just as before but uh, it's easier easier way to reach it. Uh, I have two 3D camera modes here, the orthographic and the perspective mode and uh, I can with this do fly-throughs in 3D of the of the fractals. This uh, 3D camera is uh, you can animate that too and move the camera freely in 3D space. 
So that's a big news with the camera.